Hello everybody, it's me, BroganCuber17, and today we're going to be seeing how some characters can move in Scratch. Now let's get to it. Okay, so if you notice the, all the characters in the backgrounds that I've picked out, you might notice the theme, which is baseball. So now we're going to be looking at how we can make these characters move in the way they should be moving. Now let's start off with the characters. So let's start off with our first character, which is the baseball. So, and if after we press on baseball, if we go into costumes, you can see all the costumes the baseball has. There's only one costume, and we can change costumes if we want to. And now let's look at batter. And if we go into the costumes of batter, you can see there's more than one on the on the sidebar. So there's batter A, where the, where she's getting when the batter is getting ready. And then this is the next one, the third one, where, where she hits the ball, and then the fourth one, like that. So that's the movements of the batter, and now, and so now let's look at the next one, which is the catcher. So the catcher is like this, and then it comes down, and then catcher C is where her hand goes up, and catcher D is where her hands go a different direction. Now we're going to look at the pitcher. So for the pitcher, it's like the ready stance, and then he's getting ready to throw it. He throws it, and then he ends it. That's for the pitcher. Now it's the out. Look, now let's look at the outfielder. So outfielders is standing there. Then he looks at something. Then he gets ready to catch it, and then he jumps back to catch it. And now let's look at our last character, which is the referee. So the referee A is holding a card. And that's, this referee looks like it's for soccer because it's holding a card. We don't really need a card for baseball. But um, when we're doing it, we don't need this. So if we want until we can delete that. A, now referee B is when it's just standing there. Referee C is when it's showing something. And then referee D is when it's talking to something. So these are the movements of the characters. Now let's see how we can make program these characters to make them do the movements. So first let's go to events and get one click. And then we go to looks. And then we can change we can change stuff. Switch costumes right here. So if we put that in, we get options batter D, A, B, C, or D. And now right now batter is at D, let's put it at A. And we want to start it off with A. And then we want to get, let's get three more out. And then we want to change the second one to batter B. And then we can change the third one to batter C. The last one can stay at batter D. So if we press this, we can notice that they move it, but look how fast it goes. It going, it's going so fast you can barely even see it, how it's moving. So what we can do is we can go to control we can get a wait one second and we can put those in between every look twist switch costume program and if we press play now it takes a second in between every every movement uh it works out like that so that's how we program what we can do with anything and because we um deleted the first part of the referees thing um we, we can start with batter b and we can go to c and then d Okay, so I have a challenge for you guys. I want you guys to try making a baseball game. So I want what I want to happen is I want you guys to try making the pitcher throw the baseball and making the batter hit the ball and make it go into that outfielder's hands. And I want the referee to say that the batter was out. And um, try making the catcher moving to try like getting the ball too. So this is how that would work. And now we're going to be seeing where we can find all of these characters and backgrounds. So what we can do is we can press on the choose a sprite. And if we go into here, we can search up baseball. And all four of these characters will come up plus the baseball. And to get the ref, we just search up ref and It'll come up right here. 
So these are all the characters, and now we're going to be looking at where we can find the background. And that is on the choose the backdrop. So you press on that. You don't need to search up anything because the first in the first five backdrops is the the first. The second one and the third one are both baseball fields. It would be best if you use baseball one because it's easier to see everything. So that's where you find the backdrop. Well, if you guys try this challenge, um, put your exper experience of, of doing the program and put a link to your program in the comments below. And I will be showing you guys how I would do this program in the next video.